Hello, all you little demons, it's Jules here from FGS, and I ask you this, what are boss battles if not the icing on the cake of an already great gaming experience? And when designed well, they help break up the conventional core gameplay and serve as necessary skill checks as players progress through that story, but sometimes they dare to go a whole lot further and enter the realm of all-timer showdowns of the ages, which is what we're here to chat about today, as I'm Jules, this is FGS, and these are the 10 great video game boss battles and say it with me kids of all time that's for those in the back oh and speaking of the day one fan base remember last week i told you that you could be part of this new list series well i've kept my promise and big shout out to at alexander wolf 2962 whose nomination will appear later on in this list if you want to be selected for our next feature then get thinking about what you would pick for the best video game cheats Yet, I'm not going to cheat you out of a quality list, so let's get cracking with number 10, Poseidon from God of War 3. Now, while most games would save a fight this epic and cinematic in scale for last, God of War 3's astounding tussle with Poseidon is only its second boss encounter. Atop Gaia, the water god attempts to make short work of you with both his claws and devastating lightning attacks, so with a literally huge helping hand from Gaia, you're able to keep wailing away on him. This is precisely the sort of strategic megascope fight that the newer God of War games have too often lacked, and that it happens so early on in the game is nothing if not a display of ballsy confidence on the part of Santa Monica Studio. As the icing on the cake, this fight also ends with a first-person glimpse of a defeated Poseidon helplessly watching as you finish him off, his death then causing an epic flood across all of Greece. For all of the many thrilling fights in God of War 3, it peaks very early with this gorgeously chaotic clash. Number 9. Virgil, Devil May Cry 5 Now, Devil May Cry 5 is another franchise that is stacked deep with classic bosses, yet unlike God of War, it saved the best for almost last, with the fifth game's late-stage brawl between Dante and Virgil proving to be the series' pièce de résistance. Sure, it may not be the most challenging fight in the series, but given how ludicrously powerful the brothers are by this point, the result is nevertheless an almost comically over-the-top super-powered slobber knocker for the ages. Players need to switch between Dante's fighting styles in order to withstand and answer Virgil's own attacks, ensuring this is a thrillingly dynamic square down and one that will leave your palms positively soaked with sweat by the end of things. Toss in some glorious mid-fight banter and an unforgettable climax in which the battle is broken up by Nero, and you've got one of the most purely entertaining, giddily bonkers fights ever conceived. Number 8. Ishin the Sword Saint – Sekiro Shadows Die Twice Now this list simply couldn't exist without a From Software game, but which one, you ask? Well, for all of the developers' many unforgettable boss encounters, the cream of the crop has to be Ishin the Sword Saint from Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Fittingly, the game's final boss is the ultimate test of everything you've learned up until this point, a gut-wrenchingly challenging yet somehow still fair fight which will force you to deploy every last trick in the book. Now he will throw just about everything at you bar the kitchen sink, a sword, a spear, a pistol, even lightning attacks, ensuring only those who've mastered every facet of Sekiro's gameplay will ultimately prevail. Yes, it is a maddeningly tough fight, but he's such an unrelenting, well-hyped badass that it's tough to resent it. The feeling of finally putting him down is practically unrivaled, even in the rest of From Software's back catalogue. Number 7. King Dice Cuphead. Cuphead's penultimate boss battle against King Dice forces players to take part in an exhausting yet brilliant casino set mini boss gauntlet, battling up to a dozen lesser foes before taking on the old king himself. In many games, such a fight would feel padded out, but to developer studio MDHR's enormous credit, nothing feels like filler here. Each of the mini bosses has their own distinct personality, design, and means of engagement. And this is before you even get to King Dice himself, who takes a serious kicking before finally keeping over. It's a boss fight which perfectly strikes the balance between balls hard difficulty and mind boggling ingenuity. It's one of the most creative and involved boss battles ever, even if it will also make your blood pressure absolutely skyrocket. In fact, it's amazing enough that the subsequent final boss fight with the devil himself seems to be, well, just pretty good by comparison. And that says it all. Number 6. Yami 
Okami. And so we come to Alexander Wolf's submission of the final boss from Okami known as Yami, which serves as a perfect encapsulation of challenge, drama, and WTF moments all rolled into one. Now, at this point of the game, we have just learned the truth behind why all the evil spirits have turned this land into an utter hellscape, and we're finally positioned to paint a big old Bob Ross happy shrub over Yami's ugly face. Yet, yeah, because Yami is, and let me just check my notes here, oh yes, a complete and utter bastard, it summons every boss in the game once more to skill check you into oblivion. With each battle, you climb that mountain step by agonizing step until eventually you go toe to toe, or as it should be, paw to ball with Yami, who unleashes a ton of heavy hitting moves and also strips you of all your powers. I know, Yami is a bastard man. Yet, you know what they say you can't keep a good cell shaded god dog down, and soon, thanks to your skills as a player and the support of all your friends that you've made along the way, you have enough power to punch Yami back to the darkness from whence it came game, leaving you with a huge sense of satisfaction and a big old dumb smile across your big old dumb face. Number 5. Mr. Freeze – Batman Arkham City the Batman Arkham franchise's magnum is unquestionably Arkham City's daring duel with Mr. Freeze, which tests the player's ability to adapt to an ever-evolving enemy. The genius of this fight is that you can't simply cheese Freeze by spamming the same gadget or ability, because once you've used it once, the Iceman will shut it down for the remainder of the battle. It's also a rare battle which forces the Caped Crusader to go entirely stealthy, because trying to engage Freeze directly, well, it will result in your certain death. As such, players are ripped kicking and screaming out of their comfort zone and forced to employ a wide variety of stealth attacks in order to make it through. It's one of the few boss battles in the series to make players feel genuine fear for Batman's safety, and one which refuses them the safety net of rehashing the same tactics ad nauseum. I'm afraid that my condition has left me cold to your pleas of mercy. No! 4. Kefka Final Fantasy VI Yeah, it's a toss-up between Final Fantasy VI's Kefka and Final Fantasy VII's Safer Sephiroth. But you know what? Kefka just about clinches it. You see, Kefka is the franchise's thinly veiled riff on the Joker, a maniacal agent of chaos whose final battle with the player is suitably wild. You'll ascend to the heavens to deal with a driven mad Kefka, who across four phases transforms from a demonic looking beast into a walking, hawking renaissance painting, and finally, a winged god. To call Kefka challenging is quite the understatement, given that he will always cast Heartless Angel at the start of any phase to immediately reduce your party's HP to one. Beyond that, he'll use ultra-powerful fire, blizzard, and thunder attacks, and to rub salt in the wound, he will regularly cast blind and silence. Now, This fight can be a major pain for the ill-prepared, but between Kefka's sheer intimidating power, his incredible visual design, and the fight's wonderfully terrifying music, it remains the Final Fantasy series' crowning achievement. Number 3. Ganondorf – The Legend of Zelda – Twilight Princess You know what? Kefka isn't the only legendary fantasy boss rocking a ridiculous multi multi-phase battle. Everyone has their own favorite Ganondorf boss fight, but the probable consensus favorite occurs in The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. What really takes this battle to the next level is that it's a 20-minute tour de force divided into four distinct and equally riveting phases. First off, you have to deal with him puppeteering a defenseless Zelda to attack you. Next, he becomes the feral dark beast Ganon, then hops on horseback for an equestrian brawl, and then finally takes Link on in a sword fight. This boss fight throws everything at the player, and yet it doesn't feel excessive by the end. There are certainly tougher end bosses in the series, but none which have quite roused the same sense of wonder. Number 2. Phalanx – Shadow of the Colossus Now, This list could honestly be comprised of only bosses from Shadow of the Colossus, but if pushed to pick just one, well, it's got to be Phalanx. The game's 13th Colossus is a jaw-dropping doozy, a gigantic winged creature that hangs out in the middle of the desert and, despite being totally docile, nevertheless presents itself as one hell of a challenge to take down. The key to victory involves shooting the three white sacks on its undercarriage, allowing you to climb aboard its wings and seek out its weak points. The result is a deliriously high-wire Battle. Though we have to use the term battle quite loosely here, given that Phalanx doesn't actually attack the player at all. And once we learned what we learned at the game's end, if you know, you know, it made everyone feel even worse for felling this majestic creature. And number one, the end. Metal Gear Solid 3, Snake Eater. And finally, our number one spot goes to a boss battle that achieves an ingenious fusion of difficulty, inventiveness, and sheer iconic appeal. Now, picking just one Hideo Kojima boss battle is an agonizing task, but the certified GOAT must surely be Metal Gear Solid 3's intense, often enraging battle against the end. The end might well be game 
gaming's peskiest centenarian, an elite sniper and master tracker who will pursue you through a dense forest, firing tranquilizer rounds which fast chip away at your stamina. At the end won't ever kill you, but if he successfully drains your stamina, he'll drag you all the way back to prison and you'll have to start again. For first time players, the end can take literally hours to beat, more like the never end, am I right? Figuring out how to track and defeat him, such as using the thermal goggles to detect his movements, is an anxiety-inducing puzzle in of itself, and one which will make his eventual defeat all the sweeter. Or I guess you can just cheese the whole thing and move your system clock forward eight days causing him to die of old age, or better yet, just whip out your sniper rifle when you briefly see him in the early game and pop a cap right in his dome. Just watch out for his wheelchair. And there we go, my friends. Those were the 10 greatest video game boss battles of all time. I hope that you enjoyed that and let me know what you thought about it down in the comment section below. And remember to leave your suggestion for the best video game cheats, as that's what we're going to be covering next. As always, I've been Jules. You can go follow me over on Instagram, where it's at RetroJ, but the O is a zero. And I hope that you're treating yourself well, my friend, with love and respect, because you deserve the best things in life, all right? And do not let anything or anyone else tell you otherwise. You are a massive legend. I want you to go out there and absolutely smash it today. Day. I believe in you. As always, I've been Jules, you have been awesome, never forget that, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.